Will your girlfriend arrest you if she's a cop? Do cops waste your tax dollars TikTok dancing? All this and more on What the Law. Hello everyone and welcome- Freeze! Everybody on the ground! Moppet Mike? Freeze! Don't move! Moppet Mike, stop. You don't- I said freeze! Hands on your head! Stop, Moppet Mike, what are you doing? Well, this episode's about cops, so I figured I'd be in character. So you did a no-knock raid? Was I not supposed to? <sighs> Let's just jump into it. This is What the Law, Cops Edition. First question, can cops discipline a naughty child? Really starting off strong with this one. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the language here. If they mean what I think they mean, I don't even have to think about it. No, cops cannot discipline naughty children. Hey! But well, Mike, what if they are really bad? Obviously there are times that a minor can be arrested, but corporal punishment is definitely not allowed. By the way, if you want to leave us questions, leave a comment below and your question could be in the next video. Next question, Seth H asks, maybe you should do a real education video and explain to the American people you don't need a license to travel freely in America. The Constitution says you don't, something those cops don't obey. Uh. Just in case you didn't really believe that these were viewers submitted. So it took me a second to figure out what this person was asserting. Really? They seem pretty confident. What I'm assuming here is that this person is saying that the Constitution gives you the right to freedom of movement and subsequent right to travel. Which is true! See, I'm smart. Yes, but that doesn't mean you have a right to a particular mode of travel. So you're free to walk or taxi Uber or bus to a different state. But even that can have limitations. For instance, if you're on probation or pretrial release. Federal courts have upheld that states have a right to regulate traffic because it's necessary for public safety and it's proper exercise of state police power. So I still need a valid driver's license and cops aren't violating my constitutional rights by asking me for one? That's correct. Wow, I guess this guy got his real education video after all. Someone who left their name as Free Sauce asks, what is civil forfeiture and how do I get my stuff back? Oh, 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 oh. I know, it's when a cop says find his keepers, no takes his backseat. Uh, almost. Civil forfeiture allows a government to seize and then keep or sell any property allegedly involved in any illegal or criminal activity. Oh, like after that person is convicted of a crime, right? Nope, owners don't even need to be arrested or convicted of a crime for their cash, cars, or real estate to be taken away permanently. What? But what if my stuff is innocent? It didn't do anything, it's just stuff. It depends on the jurisdiction, but typically the cops only need to show that there's more than a 50% chance the seized property was involved in wrongdoing. Ugh. So how do I get my innocent stuff back? So it depends. Depends on what? A lot. The state you live in, what was taken, the strict legal parameters surrounding the forfeiture, again, depending on which state you live in, and the specific agency's rules around forfeiture. Wow, a lot of variables, huh? Oh yeah. So, no big blanket, overarching piece of advice? Contact a local lawyer that handles those types of cases. It's their job to cut through all those variables and get your stuff back. Oh. Classy, Mike. Classy. Michael P. asks, ugh, this is a long one. The police and several police agencies have taken to social media to do dances and funny videos, but also to assist in finding criminals. I believe they make tons of mistakes, such as portraying a perpetrator guilty before they're even caught. Not to mention all the dances they do and the TikTok stuff cost taxpayers lots of money. Police and other agencies make like $50 an hour almost anywhere. I'd like to know what they are allowed to post and what they are not allowed to post. Gonna do the two step and cowboy boogie. Grab a sweetheart and spin out with him. Oh, I bet this guy's a lot of fun at parties. Look, you can't have it both ways. Half the time people are mad at the cops because they seem too militant and aggressive. Then some of them try to come across more personable and now they're wasting taxpayer dollars? Yeah. I think I'd rather see cops flossing than cracking heads at a protest. As for the first question, I can't quantify how many tax dollars cops waste by doing TikTok dances. I don't know if we even should. But the other question is interesting. Can the police use social media to track you down? Oh, I hope not. I know I've left some breadcrumbs that shouldn't be followed. Anyway, yeah. If your posts are public, that's fair game. But even if your posts are set to private, law enforcement could ask whatever social media company to cooperate or even get a warrant if they have to. So if you don't want the cops to see what you're up to, don't post. Looks like it's time for off the record. Carl from Facebook asks, do you ever lose your cool with bad clients? You'll definitely get frustrated as a lawyer sometimes. I find the best way to stay cool is a healthy routine. Personally, I use hiking and video games as outlets. Then I can stay more cool during stressful moments. And I am no longer allowed to practice law in the contiguous United States. But call me if you need legal representation in Hawaii. Let's get back to the questions. Chris K asks, Hi Mike, any advice for dating a cop? If I invite her to my house off duty, does that waive any of my rights to assert 
search for privacy? How about the Fifth Amendment? He's only in it for the handcuffs. I don't have to be a lawyer to tell you this, but don't ask a cop over if you have something to hide. They have ways of making you talk. No, relax. You get to keep your Fifth Amendment right no matter what. You're not waiving your right to remain silent just because you had him over. Quite the opposite if it's going well. Simply inviting a cop on or off duty into your home does not give them the right to search your home unless they ask if they can and you consent. But if you're dating a cop and they ask to search your home, one, that's weird. You should probably set more boundaries in your relationship. And two, don't consent. Consent is key. I'm trying to raise my eyebrows. Mike, I don't think I can raise my eyebrows. Just don't commit crimes and maybe don't date a cop if that could be a problem. Or do, if danger excites you. Remind me not to look through any breadcrumbs you leave on social media. Anyway, I'm Muppet Mike. Remember to like and subscribe. You can't change the subject with the outro. Can't I? Check out our other videos here and make sure you do all the liking and subscribing. Why do you keep